Meet Scott Thomas, Barnstable High School's new athletic director on this episode of Barnstable Today. It's Friday, August 30th, 2013. I'm Sarah Mannell. When students come back to Barnstable High School this fall, they will have a brand new athletic director, and that is our guest today. Scott Thomas is uh, is joining the, the team here at Barnstable. Scott, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, um, I grew up on the Cape. I went to uh, Nosset High School, played sports there. I went to college Parker, at the, the University of Rhode Department. Island, where I graduated from in 1982, Department. physical education and health education major and teacher. Uh, I also played baseball at the University of Rhode Island. I uh, took my first job in Houston, Texas. Got a little adventurous after wow. I graduated from, from URI. Uh, went down there for six years at, in a school district called the Fort Bend Independent School District. I worked at Dulles High School, John Foster Dulles High School, which was a very large uh, Division 5A high school with uh, nearly 4,000 students. Um, I was a football, soccer, and baseball coach. Um, it was really exciting for me coming from the Cape, going to a big city like that, and being involved in an athletic program that is about as high as it gets in interscholastic athletics. So I got to, got to learn a lot of things uh, as, as a young coach that have proven to be a foundation for, for uh, you know, who I am today and, and how I go about doing my job. So that was a great opportunity for me. After six years, I uh, got a little homesick for the Northeast, a little bit. Uh, one day I was um, at a, a Santa Claus parade. Some kids were doing some sort of a performance, and I was swatting away mosquitoes, and I was just like, and Santa Claus came in on a golf cart. So it, was, <laughs> it wasn't exact. I just kind of really missed the seasons and, uh, you know, headed back um, to New England, uh, where I ended up uh, landing in New Hampshire. Um, I took a coaching job at Chelmsford High School, which is just over the border from Nashua, where I was uh, teaching, and um, coached uh, soccer and baseball there, uh, varsity soccer and baseball at Chelmsford High School. Um, had a really great time, uh, learned a lot. A uh, good friend of mine, his name is Jack Fletcher, who was the athletic director there for many years, uh, was a great mentor, a great friend, and um, that was a great opportunity for me. I was approached with the opportunity uh, to coach at Riviere College. It was a, basically an all-women's school for, since its inception, and they were becoming a co-ed school and adding sports. Um, I was selected to start the men's soccer program there, um, which was really a great experience. And I got the job at Chatham High School the day before school started. Wow. And uh, for the first year, I just taught and... and um, was the athletic director, and then the following year, um, I took on the men's, I mean the boys soccer program, and also the baseball program, where I uh, taught and coached, and was the AD. So it was kind of a, a definitely a full plate. I didn't have a secretary for the most. I had a, a, a two-hour help for uh, for a couple of years, but um, truthfully, it was I, I had to do it. Had to do it all. No athletic trainer. Um, right. Just it was it was tough. No equipment manager. It was a uh, it was a lot of work. So um, having done that for I guess it was ten years, we started to go through the regionalization process. Um, I felt it was a absolutely necessary for us to explore the opportunity of getting together with Harwich to start our regionalization ahead of the building being ready. Absolutely. So with the sports teams, getting those teams integrated. We did, and then that wasn't, it, it, it was a necessity for us. I think it was much more difficult for the Harwich side because certainly they had plenty of numbers to continue with their exactly. athletic program. They had some, some kids that were juniors and seniors that, you know, were planning on, you know, graduating as a rough rider and, and look forward to those couple of years. So there was a lot of angst and a lot of, uh, you know, people that were upset. So it, it, it was a very intense very intense time, a lot of emotions, and um, 
So I, I decided to, to step back. You know, my son was going to be a senior. Um, he played on both of the teams that I coached, and it was just, for me, it was just the best thing to do at that time. And um, so last year, all I did was teach. I must tell you, at 2.15, I, for the first time in 30-some-odd years, I really was like, wow, what do I do with myself? <laughs> so I'm going to tell you, it was nice to have a little nap time for the first uh, couple of weeks, but after that got old, I'm like, wow, I got to get back into this. I got to gotta get back <laughs> into this, you know. Um, so um, I, I coached with a, a club, um, the South Shore Stingrays, uh, which is a, a competitive traveling club that is now formed with the Cape, uh, you know, the Crusaders, and um, I continue to do that with one team That's just team. to keep keep my uh, my my coaching fix in the mix and uh, you know uh, when this opportunity came up I said go for it I did things worked clicked right from the beginning made a lot of great connections felt a lot of um, similar if not identical values uh, with the administration with with coaches with teachers um, really felt like a good fit from the very beginning. So um, here I am in a, in a, in a Division One program again, which I'm excited to uh, be back at that level. And, you know, a uh, history that is just rich with success. Um, some icon coaches, you know, that I consider it to be, um, an, you know, a privilege just to be around them. Well, I think you I know? just saw Tom Turco, our girls' volleyball coach, uh, right. leaving the office as we were coming in. Yeah, of he course, did. Uh, many championships for our girls' volleyball team here in Barnstable. Absolutely. And uh, I tried not to, um, the first couple of days I was watching the girls' volleyball team practice, I, I tried not to look in awe, but I truly, I truly <laughs> was. I was just like, oh my gosh, this is, uh, this is, this is fantastic. And it really reminded me of, being back in Texas and seeing that level of athleticism and the commitment and you know it's it's it was it's a great feeling and I would equally say that about everything that I've seen so far you know I've certainly had a close eye on the football team being a soccer guy you know definitely been out on the soccer field a lot already our field hockey program is is doing great our cross country coaches are out working the kids hard they've designed a new course oh, uh, on cool. campus here which they'll be running at camp on campus they used to go at Hathaway's you know uh, our golf program is very competitive as well our cheerleaders are here working hard and you know getting ready for their for their season uh, to support our support our teams but also to compete as well so it's um, it's been it's been great, and I'm looking forward to it. So obviously, um, you know, you're brand new. This is this is your 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 first uh, year at Barnstable, but right away, I mean, obviously, we have a strong uh, sports program. Any changes? Any improvements? Any goals you have, uh, or is it? Are you in observation mode at this time? And that's what I've told everyone from the beginning. You know, I need to come in here and assess, and observe, and you know, there are many things that uh, are that I've noticed already that are working. Most things are working very smoothly and and wonderfully. Um, as I've said numerous times in numerous interviews already this year, is I, I need to find a way and will to put my imprint on the program and um, you know interject my philosophies and beliefs. But I think to come in here and you know saying I'm going to change this, I'm going to change that is really is really not a wise thing to do. Uh, I been around the you know this whole process at many different levels in different parts of the country and um, you know I like what I see so far and uh, I will uh, work hard to bring it to whatever next level we're capable of doing. Great well Scott thank you so much for letting us come down and, and, and talk to you it was a pleasure to meet you and we look forward to having you out here in Barstow. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Okay. All right. Thanks for joining us today. Have a great holiday weekend. We'll see you back here on Tuesday. With Barnstable Today, I'm Sarah Mannell.